Welcome to another follow-up video to my previous video that I uploaded, which, yeah, talks about guild capping and the methods that I use for getting my first billion in Final Fantasy XIV. Um, yeah, I figured out that some of these methods still work and I want to share with you most of them because I think my, my video actually hasn't got that impact on the market system, at least on, on my server. Um, which I, I'm curious about because it already reached 30,000 views or more than 30,000 views and uh, it should have actually should have quite an impact. So yeah, let's let's see how that this video again will impact the market. Maybe I'm not sure about that because I think there are still very solid methods to get some gill and it's not the big deal like I just uploaded in Stormblood a uh, video that that talked about making 30 million in one week, and it was actually true, but I think we're way beyond that because the market is just oversaturated with too many crafters and um, the possibilities of many that can actually craft, yeah. Um, like always in these videos, I'm sorry about my English, it's not as fluent as when I'm reading from a script, so um, yeah. My apologies for, for that quality decrease again. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm still working on the script for the crafting leveling video and this should be uploaded on Friday. Maybe on the weekend, but it should be Friday. Okay, to see what I did and what actually sold out quite a bit is that I just came up with the last, I think it, I presented it in the last section of the video, um, the idea just to craft some normal quality crafting stuff and therefore as you can see these are yeah just counting down some of the materials that I sold for getting some room again but uh, yeah about 500k maybe um, without yeah just doing nothing actually or spending nothing um, to be honest because these materials that I bought for, for crafting these parts are so cheap that you don't need to worry about that at all. Um, therefore, let's hop into what I did. You can also see this from my favorite tab. Um, I just focused on the 71 um, crafter and gatherer gear. So this really sells quite expensively. And even when when um, aiming for that normal quality stuff, you're good to go. And the reason why we're aiming for the normal quality stuff is that you don't need any gear. You don't need... Um, you, Above the requirements of these crafts, which are very low to the point of, of this video, um, you don't need any crafter rotation, you don't need high level gear, and you can just level the crafter maybe just to that level when you get the recipe, which should be around, yeah, level 70 actually. So when hitting level 70, you could start that business, and um, there are still ways that will give you access to this early on. Um, what I mean, I just figured out that there's some other market again. Let me just check this out. Um, for example, you're going as a weaver or leather worker, which is the prime, yeah, prime crafter job for this section and for this method. Um, you just go through all the possible equipment stuff. And for example, just what, what I want to show you, this Holy Rainbow Coity, it just is so cheap because you can get this from NPCs. Um, and by getting this from NPCs, prices are, yeah, just so down to, to zero, next to zero, that it doesn't make any sense to craft those. But on the other hand, check out this one. This is uh, for level 51, and you can easily, easily craft the normal quality version and just uh, half the price of this high quality version and people will buy it out. I just tried it out with the 71 pieces and this is for uh, example for the 51 pieces. Um, the same applies for 60 gear of course. Um, you could start doing the 60 gear or maybe go to the 61 crafting and especially the gathering should always work. Um, for example, the blood hemp and doublet of crafting, there's only a single piece that is offered here. So if you go to that market and the, the materials are still cheap. So let's just try out how the materials cost this time. We will just do this as an example. Blood hempen doublet of crafting. 
This is actually what, what I did in, in my live streams as well. If we just look that up. Um, sometimes you just need to craft those blood hemp and cloths again. Um, the Gagana leather maybe. Or maybe also the rose gold nugget. But yeah, it, it would take too long. And just for showing you in, in which difference we're talking about. Um, this would be the cloth. Where you need two of those. So actually we spent 900 gil right now. Let's keep this to mind. Leather. The Gagana leather. Here. Yeah, it's <laughs> actually way cheaper again. We just spent 600 on top of that. So about 1500 gil right now. Then we go for blood hempen yarn. This <laughs> is actually cheaper. So about 1625 gil. And rose gold nugget. Yeah, okay, this is a bit more expensive, but still within our range. Um, I, c I can search if I am able to, to craft that. Rose gold nugget should be possible, yeah. Uh, you always have to measure that um, if, if it's worth it. So check out gold ore, for example. Yeah, okay, at this point, it really doesn't weigh up the, the time you're consuming here. So just buy it out and... Um, the biggest thing about it, at the moment, you're, we're talking about crafting multiple items. We are talking about cheaper materials or expensive materials. And if you got maybe a bunch of these expensive ones, which would, 10 of these would still be around 20k. Um, we, we still haven't got, uh, still haven't invested anything upon these materials. These are so, so cheap. That they don't fall into any calculation here. Um, yeah, I hope you get the idea behind it. Because um, when you multiply this for a certain range of items, you're good to go to just decrease the value of, of this one single piece that is in a disparity to... to especially on the time disparity. When you, when you just buy out all the stuff and you don't need to look up all the required materials for each item and you just craft a bunch of these after another, then you're perfectly fine, especially on the time management part, which is always a big part of, of yeah, making gil, because you could possibly spend the time in a better way otherwise. But I, I really think this is a good method to just easily, easily craft this. And with my rotation, for example, you could also do this way more straightforward just go for um, let's check for actions uh, we could start with for example muscle memory which you should have unlocked until that level and we are actually done with it so when talking about these low level pieces you could also just use when you're level 80 you could also use groundwork or um, yeah you could also easily increase the quality to 100% with trained eye but for the simple reason of just not interacting and interfering with the market that is already present. We are just crafting those normal quality stuff. And from the earnings that I made, you can see it works. It still works. It's, oh no, it's the wrong action and trust to retain. I always click that. I don't know why. Um, yeah, this is the right one. Sell. And yeah, as you can see, it's, it's way beyond anything that a level 61 crafter would spend on these. So we're going way, way lower than that. We're just trying to head for this value, which would still, as you could see from the from the spendings we had on these uh, materials, it will still be such a good value. We just spent around 3,500 gil, or no, 4,500 gil. Yeah, it would still be, yeah, a win of, of 80 or 90%. So. This is perfectly fine. And yeah, I'm already having some of these 71 crafter stuff being up. And yeah, why you don't need to feel bad about that because you're selling actually garbage to people. Um, sometimes you just don't need the high quality versions of these because for for some rotations, you just need to head for certain um, yeah breakpoints of, of receiving, especially on the crafting department of receiving CP stats 
um, some CP stats, for for example, and I think the the materia places and materia slots are the same with normal quality like they are in uh, for the high quality. And for example, um, let's check this out shortly before ending that video. Um, for example, the control is differently, of course, but the CP value is not having a significant difference. So um, I'm not certain if you can also hit for for that max value of CP when when melding in materia uh, and if if that is the same max value and max capacity like it is on the high quality stuff I'm not sure about that uh, maybe you need to check that up but yeah at some point they just need the normal quality version and for, <laughs> this is the prime example where you see it doesn't make sense people would always buy the high quality stuff um, so going for the same price with the normal quality piece doesn't make any sense here. So yeah, please take that into consideration for maybe getting it slowly done. You can do a billion. I think you cannot do this in, in around a year with that method only. So I highly recommend to check out other methods and to be creative about that. And um, yeah, just get your own idea on the market system and, and what you need to take care of. I think I, yeah, just pointed out some of the most important aspects in my last video and I hope that this method again shows you an example for how this can be done with easy, easy crafting and easy methods without being a high-end crafter or hitting the, up that crafting end game. So yeah, uh, I hope that this video was quite helpful to some of you. I hope that this doesn't uh, kill every market that is uh, yeah accessible by your character or whatever um, I hope that this doesn't and the last video didn't so I, I am uh, positive about that uh, see you around in another live stream and maybe we will have the crafting leveling video uploaded on Friday hopefully and um, yeah I hope that it will help you in leveling up crafters you don't need all of them for this method for example you just need leather worker or uh, and weaver and maybe Carpenter is actually very good at crafting weapons and some accessory pieces, but yeah, just go for the, the crafting job that you like and that you think you will always want it and then you will be perfectly fine. So stick around for the crafting leveling video on Friday and until then, stay healthy, take care and keep loving Final Fantasy.